Now, if you can imagine the difficulty in doing the move, the difficulty jumps with a staff, with the added length of the spear, this makes it even more difficult. Jump inside 360 into a horse stance landing. There you can see just the same technique that you saw in staff, jump front kick aerial, tornado split, significantly more uh, difficult with the spear. As are the twirls, I would expect. And the spear points, I'm assuming, are sharp enough to do damage if uh, something goes wrong. Yeah, you know, a lot of these weapons are demonstration weapons, so they're not, uh, they're not sharpened, you know, as a say like a regular knife or a paring knife, but they will cut you still. I mean, at the speeds that athletes are moving with a lot of these weapons, uh, it's very common to get a lot of, uh, a lot of cuts and scrapes and injuries from, from them. And there at the, uh, if you're new to Wushu, you see the uh, horsehair at the tip of the spear, which is just a node to the traditional weapon. Uh, the horsehair was meant to trap blood of your opponent so that it wouldn't impede your, uh, your, your movements or your technique or parrying and sliding and uh, spearing with the, staff, with the spear. Historic significance then. And there we actually saw the spear cross the line. That's uh, is that a deduc deduction? That's, that's, that's all right. Okay. The weapon can can extend beyond the rings of the carpet. Nine point four eight. Looks like he's happy with that score.